Hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to be working on the John Deere 5065 tractor. We're going to be installing this cool device called the saw haul. So basically we're going to install a mounting system to carry your chainsaw on your tractor. You can use this on your gator, you can use it on your four-wheeler, you can use it on your Polaris, anything and everything that you can think of, you can mount this saw mount to and carry your saw with you safely. So come along on the farm vlog today. We're going to have fun. I'll show you how I'm going to install it on my tractor. All right? Woo! So first of all, let's look at what we have here. This is called the scabbard. This is the part that actually holds the chainsaw. Basically, your bar goes right up in there. Now the scabbard is hung off this metal piece right here, this bracket. Basically, the scabbard just slides down into the bracket, just like so. That mounts to your tractor, and there are several different types of mounting systems you can have. You can mount it to a roll bar system with this U-bolt. You could mount it to your arm on your loader, with that, there's all sorts of different configurations. What we're going to do is use this plate and we're going to mount it directly to a plate on the tractor. Let me show you. So this is our John Deere 5065 tractor and I've already started pre-drilling the holes right here for the mounting plate. Basically we're going to take and there'll be a plate on this side and the mounting structure will be right here on this side and we'll store our chainsaw right there. So let's get busy. Guys, my goal here is not to sell you a saw haul. It's to show you how I install my saw haul. These are pretty cool little items. One guy runs this company. His name is Kenny. So if you want customer service, you've got customer service. This is an American made product, American plastic. None of this stuff is Chinese garbage. It's all American made. Once again, check out sawhaul.com and there'll be a link down in the video description. I think it's cool and the guy is really, really nice. He's just started an American company and is chasing his American dream. The reason he invented this thing is because he accidentally backed over the nicest saw he had. His wife got him a beautiful brand new steel chainsaw for Christmas and he backed over it with his tractor and he ruined it and he said, nope, no more. We've got to find a solution for this and he found it. Cool. So let's hope I didn't screw up my measurements. Basically, we're just going to drill out this little plate right here. Pretty simple stuff. Got it. Takes a nice strong drill bit and it's recommended to use a half inch drill bit for this but we only have a 3 8 inch drill bit so we might have to work with it and wallow it out a little bit nice come on mr dewalt so the way this thing installs it includes these i think they're called grade eight bolts that go right through here and they are a hex head bolt and what we'll do is sandwich that piece of metal in between right here let's make sure that it's all going to match up and it's all going to fit before we get to showing it on camera because sometimes ooh, magic that's awesome everything doesn't work properly every single time you guys know that i know that and most of the time people showing this stuff on camera those hot rod shows and stuff they don't show the screw ups well i didn't screw up Woohoo! so basically here's the mounting bracket and you can use those extra large u-bolts to bolt it up to your loader arm if you wanted to but what we're going to do is we're going to go right through here here's where we drilled out drop our bolts in there I guess you'd call them screws in there and that will hold that in position now here is your mount for the saw haul sawhaul.com basically this mount just goes right on to this area here just like so now we have some nice nylon nuts to go on there so we'll get those started again this is an American company all this stuff is well thought out very intelligently thought out so we'll get that guy started right there super duper simple to install i can't wait to be able to carry my saw on this thing so the tools we have is a 9 16 inch craftsman ratcheting wrench and we'll put it on on the righty tighty side hopefully i get this right the first time and we'll use a 7 30 seconds hex head on our drill we'll just get in here really close and get her done guys i wish i could put a gopro on my hands so you could see up close but i think you get it 
We'll know real soon here if I've got the wrench on right. Oh yeah, rad. So I'm not gonna snug it all the way down. I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose and I'm gonna snug up the other one. Make sure we're nice and straight and even if possible because I'm gonna have to look at this thing all day, every day when I'm sitting on the tractor, so. Nice, daddy like it. Good deal, nice. So now we've got our mounting bracket firmly attached, very, very firmly attached. You can basically, with the nuts and bolts provided, attach it to anything. If you ever have any questions, you can always go to sawhaul.com and you'll get Kenny and Kenny can answer any questions you might have. So here is what they call the scabbard. This is injection molded plastic, heavy duty, and it slips down just like so. And we're gonna put our still MS-311. It's a 20 inch saw, it's a heavy saw, and we're gonna see how it mounts up. If you're new to the channel, you probably never saw this saw before, but this is one we've used quite some time here on the channel. All right guys, this is the first time I've tried this saw mount on my tractor. We're gonna slide it in and see how it feels. Now I talked to Kenny before I did this and he said a lot of people are running a bungee strap over top of their saw, but it's really unnecessary. Your saw is not gonna bounce 20 inches out of the saw haul sheath right here. So he said it's very unnecessary. He said it's also designed to give a little bit like this. It's not designed to be a firm fixated saw. It's designed to give just a little bit like this. Your bar is well protected, your saw is well protected, and you won't have to worry about running over it anymore. Pretty cool. I do know that Coplin offers some products out there, and we'll show you what happened to our Coplin mount on the back of the gator with the chainsaw mounted to it. So the gator is in here in the shop, and here's what happened. Here is the Coplin mount. Now, I had to put it back together with screws. This is the second Coplin mount that I've had to fool with. And we had the chainsaw mount system from Coplin to put our chainsaw on here. And basically the weight of the saw broke this cheap plastic. The saw haw is not cheap plastic. This is metal. This is made of steel. It's heavy duty and it'll hold your saw and it won't break. That's what you want. American made and it won't break. Rad. So folks, I hope you enjoyed seeing a cool new tool that we're going to be using here on the farm. We're going to partner up with Saha. This is going to be a long-term relationship with this company here on the farm. Thanks a lot. Pound that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content, and we'll have some more fun here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I don't have any more excuses not to get down in the woods and cut those trees that I've been looking to cut. So let's get to work. All right? Land Woo! Of the free and the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am. <laughs> These are special sunglasses from Stanley the Dirt Monkey. Guys, go over to Stanley Dirt Monkey's channel and tell him you saw me wearing his sunglasses. Stanley Dirt Monkey. Say, Stony Ridge Farmer sent you and he's got your shades. Woo! <laughs>